What's up guys? Welcome back to the GT3. It's been a little bit of time since we've been in this car. If you watch my videos, it's been a pretty exciting week because uh, I finally managed to get my hands on a McLaren 675 LT. There will be more videos coming with that soon and by more I mean a lot more. Uh, but it's still currently in its running in period. I've got, I've got to do 600 miles until it's sort of bedded in and then we can really open that engine up, rev it out to its maximum red line, get that exhaust popping. But until then, I was just taking the GT3 for a wash and I was checking out the uh, condition of the wrap on this car and it just sort of inspired me really to make a video. Six is so cool. <laughs> yeah, slightly sidetracked there. Um, yeah, it inspired me to make a video on what it's like living with a wrapped car. So I think it's a pretty good starting point to say why I got this car wrapped in the first place. Now, I guess most people will wrap a car because they just want to change the color. But the actual real reason that I got my car wrapped was because I was going to an event in Monaco called Top Marks. At that time, the Porsche was silver. And while it looks fantastic back here in England in silver, during Top Marks, the supercar action down there is pumped up to 11. It's absolutely insane. Um, pretty much every supercar that's down there isn't standard. And everything is any color other than silver. <laughs> and I thought, well, if I go down there, I mean, don't get me wrong, a GT3 in silver, fantastic car. While I was attending the Top Marks event, I thought, let's do something to the car that just makes it stand out a little bit more. And to be completely honest, this wrap was only supposed to be on the car for a week, just one week. It was going to be uh, on the car uh, during the drive down to Monte Carlo, on it for Top Marks, and then drive home and take it off. Because I loved this car in silver. It was so cool. And then I got it wrapped. And honestly, I wish I'd have done it sooner because the joy and change that this wrap has brought to this car is just so unexpected. I really didn't expect the dramatic shift in my approach to this car. You know, be it first thing in the morning or when I've been out shopping and I walk back to it, I'm always like, wow, man, that thing just, it's elevated the feeling and emotion of the car to just the next level. And that's mostly because it's just different. Porsche don't offer this color for this car. I'm sure if you went OTT, you could probably get it painted. But as you may or may not know, the finish on this wrap is a matte finish. And I've never been a big fan of a flat effect on cars. But what's cool about this wrap and the new generation of wraps is that they're still able to maintain the metallic fleck in it. So this is actually a matte metallic wrap. And what that means is in photos or just really bright light, you don't get the reflections that you get off a gloss paintwork or a gloss wrap. And so my first thought was this matte finish is going to actually dull down the shape of this car but it actually if anything it actually enhances it because you don't need bright sunlight for it to work um, i personally find that gloss finishes on paint you really need bright sunshine to make it pop but this matte finish not only is it completely different to normal paint so it makes the car stand out it's abnormal it's really enhanced the high spots and low spots on the car. The contours are really deep. Where the shadows lie, they're extra deep shadows and on high spots. This blue goes from a deep navy blue to almost a shimmering turquoise. What they can do with wraps these days is a fantastic thing. Now, let's just go back to the process of wrapping this car because I also think seeing that process will also make you not want to take it off. The amount of effort and work that went into this wrap in particular. I went to a company called Signature Group. Uh, those guys are actually based up in Staffordshire. Honestly, they took five days to do this car. And when I say days, it's actually five days, five nights. I've actually been with them till 2 a.m. in their workshop. The reason being, if you've watched that video, these guys do it right. They absolutely stripped this car. So normally, as a client, you would 
drop off your car, say I want it that colour, and they'll phone you five days later and say, your car's ready, sir. And you turn up and it's this, you know, magical transformation. But because I decided to film the whole thing, man, you see your car in pieces. And I say pieces, listen, go back and check out that video. I'll stick a link in the description. They took out the lights, the bumpers, the inner door cards. It's things that you don't think about. So my door handles, in order to access those, you have to take off the inside of the car. All this carbon, everything comes out. They take off the handle from the inside and then wrap that separately. It may seem overkill, but the end result is that extra difference that makes it look a wrap or look like a paint job. When I was at a car show, a few weeks back, I was at the uh, Chumley Passion of Power. The amount of people that came up to me and they were like, is this a paint job or is it this a wrap? You can't tell. You know, they opened the doors, Signature took off all of the sills, all of the badging, and they fully wrapped this car like to its nth degree. And as a result, it is a quality, beautiful looking wrap that actually looks much closer to paint. So the pros and cons of that are, if you want a job doing properly, it normally costs a lot more. This wrap job is around four and a half grand. Now, that seems like a lot, and it is, but it's mostly the amount of time and effort these guys put in. Honestly, go back and check out that video. They stripped this car down, and every single wrapped panel is tucked right under an edge, so you'll never be able to tell it's wrapped. And um, it's my opinion that the difference between a cheap wrap and a proper wrap, which would, I guess, be an expensive wrap, is that you can't tell it's a wrap. They don't just stick it on the panels of the car and leave an edge. They take off every panel, wrap it on, wrap it through light. Lights come out, so every recess gets molded. Fantastic job. Now then, let's talk less about the actual job itself and more about the... Uh, title of this video in the first place as to what it's like living with a wrap. <laughs> and what it's like living with a Sharkworks exhaust. Fantastic! <laughs> Every press of the throttle in this thing. Wow. Anyway, back to wrapping cars. What it's like living with a wrap. So I've had this wrap on since April. I have to say my overall experience with it has been fantastic. But there's pros and cons. Now, sometimes people think that a wrapped car is also a protected car, that a wrap can often act like paint protection film. It doesn't, okay? Now, getting a car wrapped does not prevent stone chips, and I guess maybe even worse is that your wrap also suffers from stone chips. Now, they are these days very resilient materials. So far, I've got a few stone chips here and there, and it has protected the paint underneath. Some of them just haven't. They go straight through. Now, if you've got a good team who's wrapped your car, it is possible to actually splice in small panels to actually fix those stone chips. And in certain cases, you can't tell. It's just blended in really nice. I had one on the front of the car. Even now, I mean, I know where it's been filled in and I still can't tell. So if you've got the right team behind you fixing up these, um, these areas, it can be fixed. You know, sometimes it's easier to just pull off that whole panel and replace it with a brand new one. And that's the beauty of wraps. If it does get damaged, it's not the end of the world. You can peel it off and replace it with a brand new section. Pretty awesome, really cheap as well. It's not like your, uh, you know, scratched paintwork where you're gonna have to have it resprayed. And of course, with wraps being a consistent roll, you don't ever have to match paintwork. It's just pull some more off the roll, stick it on, job done. Now, maintaining wraps. Again, this is very specific to the wrap you have. You can get all sorts of fabrics. I mean, I've seen cars wrapped in complete carbon fiber these days. It's crazy what you can do. But sort of more mainstream wraps like this one and gloss ones, uh, you pretty much treat them like a normal car. Now on this specific wrap, obviously it's a matte finish. Now, I guess the problem with that is that you're advised not to polish it 
And when I say advised, don't polish a matte wrap because it will go gloss and it stands out a mile and it just looks atrocious. The flip side of that is I'm actually finding that a matte finish is actually easier to maintain. And that's mostly from a time point of view. When you're washing these cars, because you don't have to polish them because it's matte, it's a whole process of that car that you don't have to do. So it's literally wash it, dry it, and it's done. And it just looks back to normal. It's fantastic. But for me, the overall best thing about a wrap, and again, this is everything to do with supercars, sports cars, or any car that you're passionate about, it's all about how it makes you feel, and the wrap for me has made this car feel more special. When I look back at previous pictures of this car in silver, yes, it looks cool, but it doesn't look matte, metallic blue cool. This thing has elevated the feeling and experience of this car to an entirely new joy level. When I approach it, it makes me smile. When other people see it, it makes them smile. And they're also very inquisitive as to what this sort of paint finish is. Is it a paint finish? Is it a wrap? And I'm still amazed at the amount of people that don't actually know about wraps. I take it for granted because I've seen it done on friends' cars. Obviously, being involved in this world, I've seen wraps done loads of times. But I'm still finding that lots of people aren't aware of wrapping cars and people will actually come up to this car and touch it. They'll like stroke it and they're like, oh, it feels so strange. It's like a sort of matte finish. And then when I explain that it isn't actually paint and I show them them pictures sometimes of the car in bits and of the team at Signature pulling this car apart and wrapping it in panels. I've got one scene in that video that you must go and check out where they wrapped the whole side of this car in one piece. So it is a seamless wrap. To watch it is both incredible and daunting. Incredible because you're like, how is this happening? How are they gonna wrap this car in one single piece? And daunting because you're like, this is never gonna work, guys. You're gonna have bubbles and weird creases and all sorts of things. But to watch it come alive is just art in itself. It's great. So yeah. Living with a wrap, it's fantastic. It does protect your car to a degree, but not completely. It's fairly easy to maintain. You pretty much these days treat it like you're washing a normal car. But the biggest thing, and the point that I want to highlight and recommend the most, is that it just transforms the feel of your car. And also, if you have a car that you love, you don't want to sell it, or you want to renew the lease of life in your car, Wrapping it is unreal. I can't tell you enough how changing the color of a car changes the whole feel of it. It honestly feels like a totally new car. So, with all of that said, if you are thinking about going for a wrap, go for it, man. It's one of the best car modifications I've ever done, and my experience so far has only been great. So, as always, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!